I think of this as one of the basic strategies. That is making mistakes for the purpose of learning. Because what happens is that if you have the right attitude about mistakes, what, what happens is that a mistake, a specific mistake that you've written down and that you look at, you can look at it and say, where is it wrong? And it directs you mm -hmm. toward what is right. I think one of the big problems that we have in education is that we discourage students from making mistakes. Yeah. We encourage people to pretend to know more than they know. Because we tell people, if you make any mistake on a test, if you make a mistake on homework, you get graded down, you get... Well, is that really the way that uh, creativity happens? Is it really the way learning happens? Is that you get it exactly right and then you get a little more exactly right? And you get No, that's just not reality. You ask anybody in this, in this room who's done anything creative at all, whether it's in mathematics or science or anything else, that every success is built on the ash heap of failed attempts. That's just a fact. And yet, then we try to build into our teaching system, we don't allow that. And so what, what I try to promote in my own classes is that mistakes are happening every day in public. Uh, I have my students come to the board and present their own work and their own way of looking at things and trying to figure out their own proofs. And, then, and that mistakes are literally every day happening. Students in the, in the, who are watching are, are discussing it with them and seeing how they can improve those mistakes. So, so by building it into the everyday structure, that is a much more realistic and, and empowering strategy by which a person can learn to be effective in the world.